Today is June 24th, which is a good day, because today is my birthday. Haha! -ha. Well, at least it should be, assuming I got this out on time. Hi everyone, my name is Lena, and today I'm going to just be going over basically everything we know about the TU and TU related content. So uh, let's jump right in. So far there are only four things that have been released that are directly related to the TU and certified as TU content. Um, by the way, TU is TXD universe. Before we start, if you don't know what the TU is, it's basically this ongoing storyline that takes place over multiple music videos, photos, varying content basically, and usually it's accompanied by a logo, or in the case of music videos, they will actually have, like, in the description, this content is certified by Big Hit, or whatever. It's TU content certified by Big Hit. Anyway, there's four things that for sure we know are TU content, and that's kind of like an umbrella of four things, because there's kind of more under those, but uh, you'll see. So first, uh, the intro photos. These were literally the first thing that we ever saw of TXT, and they were all released, and in the, in the corner they have a little logo that says TU. Second are the questioning videos. These came after the intro videos, and they are all certified TU content. Third are the photo cards in the album. So in this album, there's actually a photo card. This is the one with the TU logo on it, right here. And this is TU certified content. There are obviously five of these and they're all of the different members and they all have a saying at the bottom which is TU content and it has to do with the questioning videos but I'll get into that a little bit later. And the fourth thing is of course Nap of the Star which is the only music video uh, thus far that is part of the TU. On top of that there's also a another website that I believe has connections to the TU and also the cat and dog concept photos but both of those I'll talk about way later on since they are less certain I guess. And um, since we will be going over stuff about the CD I just wanted to say that this on the CD is Morse code and it translates to find the answers change tomorrow. The Morse code on here is part of the TU. <laughs> this also kind of led us to um, a website which I mentioned before this is called txt-theanswers www.txttheanswers.com that's a website that like led us to like uh, videos of the boys and stuff and like I said I'll talk about that in a little bit anyways my point is I'm choosing to believe these are all connected as well I also want to mention that it's my personal belief that the entire album is actually told from Yeonjun's point of view this is solidified by the fact that in the Nap of a Star music video it's literally entirely his story and if you don't think that's enough evidence in the Mnet stage intro he's actually the boy with horns that they're talking about it ends centered on him and there are actually a couple more reasons, but I'll get into that later as well. <laughs> First, we're gonna break down exactly what we see in relation to each member in the TU and different like videos and content and stuff like that. And we're gonna start with Yeonjun because he was actually the first member who was revealed, which I believe is actually important. And he's also the oldest. In fact, the reveal order does seem to be like their age order as well. So it's like Yeonjun, Soopin, Bomgyu, Taehyun, and then Kai. That was the release order of like announcing announcing them and then they've used this order several times since then and the fact that Yeonjun's story seems to be like the dream chapter star really only solidifies to me that this order is going to be an important order. <laughs> so first, Yeonjun. Yeonjun is wearing yellow in the first concept photos that we see and he's also got a daisy by his neck uh, which we see again in the questioning video um, but it's also important to note that in the questioning video and in like the behind the scenes Instagram videos um, he's actually like dragging the flower across his neck kind of like he's cutting his neck which is a, a little dark in nap of the star we see that Yeonjun grows horns on his head but I think the most important thing is his encounter with the like universe-eyed galaxy cat <laughs> thing where he gets a cut on his neck because that's exactly where he was holding the flower and dragging the flower across. It was on his neck. Um, and this is a trend that's going to continue with all of the members in relation to where they were holding the flowers. And then going to the questioning video, in each questioning video, there are a few things in common. Everyone has a shape that is associated with them that's like shown on their faces and everyone has some sort of animal or insect and everyone has multiple flowers that can be seen and each video ends with a morse code that is relevant to their stories. 
I'm not going to delve too deep into the meaning of all of this because it's a lot of speculation at this point. Um, but people do believe that the meanings of some of these flowers or animals have some sort of relevance in the TU, um, like dream meanings and stuff like that, since it's literally called the dream chapter. Um, it might also just be symbolic in one way or another, I'm not entirely sure. There's just a lot of flowers, which could also mean something because there is a language of flowers. And if you want me to do like a video specifically on the questioning videos and stuff like that and breaking it down, um, I can do that for you. Just let me know in the comments below. So Yeonjun, on his face, he has stars as his shape, which once again, it's called Dream Chapter Star. It's Yeonjun's album, his story. Yeah. This also kind of ties in with the five album theory. There is a phone ringing. This also ties in with the five album theory, which I will talk about later because there's a couple different uh, album length connection theories. And so I'll just talk about that at the end. His little animal insect thing is a grub. Um, it could also be a caterpillar, but I honestly have no idea what kind of caterpillar that would be if it's a caterpillar. It does look like a grub, so grubs do turn into beetles, so we could look at it from that point of view. It's a grub turning into a beetle. Not entirely sure about that. He's also got a couple other flowers, such as the purple tulip, or is it dark red tulip? Not entirely sure, couldn't quite tell. There's a bit of a coloring issue going on there, and I'm not sure which one it is for sure. Couldn't Like, I was comparing images, and it could be both. And there's also a bellflower, and a flower that I could just not identify at all. His Morse code at the end is promise, and as we've seen on his special photo card here, it says, This isn't just any promise. It's a promise for all of us. It's a dream we all share together. That's what this roughly translates to. Roughly. Because um, I don't actually speak Korean, so. I feel like it makes sense that it starts on Yeonjun and it showed his um, questioning, in his questioning video it showed the grub because like a grub does hold the potential to grow into something larger. Like I said, it does turn into a beetle, so. In, in a way, it's similar to like a butterfly, like a caterpillar turns into a butterfly, a grub turns into a beetle. Also low-key, when I looked it up, it said uh, turns into a June beetle specifically. And I don't know, it could be turning into any type of beetle, but like, June beetle, it's June, it's a good month. Moving on, Subin is also yellow in his concept photo, and he has a yellow rose and he holds it by his ear. This is shown again in the questioning video as always, and um, in Nap of a Star, this comes into play because he's got very large ears, and I actually thought he was an elf at first. He actually seems to be using his ears to like listen for something. He's got like a sauna phone that he listens to, and he's using like an umbrella that looks like kind of like a satellite, as if he's receiving something. Um, so we'll talk about that in a bit, but yeah, it's very interesting. Um, in his questioning videos, he has flowers on his face. His shape is actually a flower. The bug associated with him is a praying mantis. The other flowers that are uh, identifiable in his video are delphiniums and anemones. <laughs> Those things. And orchids. The Morse code that he has at the end of it is tomorrow. And his photo card says, if you and I are together, Tomorrow will be different, I believe it. Next was Bongyu, and he is orange in the concept photos. He's also got like a daisy flea bane specifically on his shoulder. I don't know if the daisy flea bane matters, but um, that's the type of flower it is. In Nap of a Star, he's got spikes on his shoulder and he's kind of like burrowed underground, looking up at the light from his little tunnel. Questioning video, his shapes are diamonds. He's got a butterfly, and then the only flower that I can identify is an anemone. His Morse code is hope, and his photo card says, we shouldn't give up hope because we definitely have the chance to make a change. His animal kind of matches his saying in a way because a butterfly is known to go through a change. Once again, it's like how the grub turns into a beetle, the, butterfly, or the caterpillar turns into the butterfly. So butterflies do kind of signify change in that way. Kind of makes sense that he's looking for a chance to change and his animal is a butterfly. So that's cute. Bongyu is also like the middle ground. He seems to be a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the red. We're not sure what those like colored shirts signify, but they do seem very intentional. So speaking of red, we're gonna go on to Taehyun now because his color was red. And in his concept photo, he had a carnation with Limonium Caspia. 
and he held it by his eye, which is shocking to no one because in the music video for Nap of a Star, he has a black eye with a star on it. And this star is actually the exact star that is in the sky in Nap of a Star. It's even got the little gear visible behind it. And this eye kind of seems to be special somehow. He is using the telescope with it, but then also kind of like, it's kind of like projecting light. I'm not actually sure if that's the eye or if it's the telescope, but um, it does seem to have some sort of special properties to it. In his questioning video, his shape is a circle, a uh, cake parrot, not a cake parrot, but a cake parrot is the type of parrot that is seen in his questioning video. And then he also has daffodils and daisies visible. His Morse code at the end is clue, and his photo card says, what we are going through, someone else has gone through. There must be a way, I will find the clue. It makes sense that he's looking through an eye for a clue, because it's like kind of like his thing, you know? He's looking for it, so also his animal, which is a parrot, makes a lot of sense because he's trying to like copy what someone else has done before as well. He's like, someone else has done it, we can do it too. And finally we end up at Kai. Kai's shirt is also red in the concept photos, and he's holding pink tulips in front of his heart. And that's very important. Kai is the only other person that has like an identifying thing in Nap of a Star that is not obviously related to the flower. In Nap of a Star, he's got huge, like, mechanical wings. Like, they're clearly fake wings. They literally have, like, the same gears going on that are happening in the sky and in Gessen Taeyun's eye. I'm not sure if they're connected in any way, but I just wanted to point out that they're the same thing. It might just be the aesthetic, but, like, it's also a big hit, so who knows? But the important thing is, of course, the fact that his hands are on his... Where's my heart? His hands are on his heart. And that is, I feel like, what we're supposed to be looking at because of the flower. He's kind of so shown like sitting on like a stone in front of a graveyard entrance and there's like graves and stuff which is a little interesting. In his questioning video, his shape is a heart, very 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 fitting. His animal is a gecko and then he's also got Icelandic poppies, orchids, and violets visible in his questioning video. The Morse code at the end is secret and his photo card says it was a secret that I didn't know I had. Uh, so now that we've kind of gone over the basics of all of these, we're gonna look at like Nap of a Star specifically in detail because it's kind of the longest and please hold your breath because this is going to be really long. Actually, don't, don't hold your breath. Okay, in Nap of the Star, we see all of them have their representations of where their flowers were. Like I said, Subin, for example, had it on his ear, and then he had big ears. For the most part, I actually think it's referencing something that's sort of special or unique about them. And they often use them in very interesting ways. Coming back to Subin, he is listening for something, but he seems to be doing- he seems to be really good at it. Like. Most people don't listen on the ground for something, but that's what he was doing. I feel like it implies that he's got unnaturally good hearing. I also think that the cut on Yeonjun's throat is showing that he's got something very special. Perhaps it's his voice that is very special. Words can be a very powerful thing, and the ability to have people listen to you, the ability to be heard, is not something that everyone is innately born with or can do. I can imagine that in a way the TU could be like having Yeonjun lead up to the point where he's like being different or literally having horns does not need to be a bad thing. The fact that nobody is really listening to him, like he's running away from them, can actually be explained as well because he doesn't get the cut until he meets the cat. Thing. And I feel like that actually can be interpreted in two different ways. The cat could have been a representation of people who tell him he's awful and a monster for having these horns and being different and just judging him. And so he was kind of like running away from them, but they found him, you know what I mean? And thus his throat was cut because they're trying to take away his voice, because that does happen in real life. However, it could also be, and I would like to believe, that he actually received his gift at that point. Since, once again, that, that's where the flower is. Immediately after, his cries of help were basically heard by everyone. Like, everyone found him at once after that. Like, Kai shows up right in front of him. The moment after he gets it, he breaks off his horn and then Kai just appears in front of him. And this, by the way, this Kai moment is essentially the entirety of Crown. Like, just look at the lyrics. Are you my salvation who found me deserted? Are your wings the same pain like mine? As in, do your wings give you pain the way that my horns do? 
it's like an emotional pain and if you read the entirety of our summer like that's pretty much this one moment it's talking about how he sees him and it doesn't matter the time of day or season it just looks like summer <laughs> with rays shining around him and yeah that's literally what happens in the music video also to add to the voice thing we might have some proof that it's happening because immediately after he gets his throat cut he runs and he tries breaking off the horn and like presumably he is yelling at that point the tree branches around him are all growing at that point as well like they are just sprouting and growing i don't know if that's meant to be like a cool effect or if that's yonjun doing it it does seem kind of like of a very interesting detail to add so it's possible that yonjun has the ability to bring life to things there's also a lot of lightning and i don't actually know if that's yonjun or if that's something else entirely there's a couple theories for that but not sure. Also, coming back to Morse code because we were very focused on it, at the very beginning the lamp is actually flashing and the Morse code there says help me. It's flashing Morse code and I... <sighs> when I did my reaction video to this music video, I noticed the, the lamp flashing and I was like that's how weird and for some reason I did not think about the fact that it was Morse code and I didn't realize until everyone was yelling at me in the comments after. And they're like, it was Morse code. I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Anyways, yes, it is Morse code for help me, which is crazy. I always feel like we have to look out really closely for like Morse code and stuff like that because they hide it everywhere. I swear it's on like every single one of the like related videos so far. It's kind of nice though because it's like another way to see like a point, the point of view that like Yeonjun is in as well. Like it's examining his inner thoughts. So we, he's not speaking, but the video is speaking for him very cool it's a very cool technique I like you big hit you win again another cool detail is the fact that all of the clocks in Yeonjun's bedroom are set to 913 except for one although that might be a mistake because it just set at 9 p.m. instead of 913 p.m. Um, but this is only important and relevant I believe to the TU because 913 is September 13th which is Yeonjun's birthday this is pointing to the importance of birthdays and constellations, which I'll kind of talk about uh, a little bit more, but they are very relevant to the TU. People have also speculated that 913 might be a comeback date, but I'm kind of inclined to believe that that's not true, uh, especially because with some of their performance announcements that they've made recently, I think one of their performances is on like September 8th in Japan, and so I feel like a comeback would be before that point versus like on 913, you know what I mean? Like I feel like they'd be performing their comeback. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. Either that or it's like a Japanese single or something. But another fun fact, in that room in the beginning, again, uh, me and an entire group chat spent far too long trying to de decode what the books were on his bookshelf and we were able to decode only one of them. It's Trust Agents by Chris Brogan and Julian Smith which is about building brand reputation and consumer trust, basically. <laughs> and I don't know what this is supposed to mean. Does Big Hit want us to start businesses now too? Is that what's happening? I'm actually not sure that that has anything to do with the TU. Um, they might have just looked for books that were like the, the right size and then just took off the like cover. I can't read any of the other books in his bookshelf like I feel like we're not really meant to be able to see them so don't know if that's actually relevant but fun fact anyway and it's a good thing to note just in case something you know pops up in the future trust agents who knew also in the video after the star shuts down or takes a nap I guess we see a witch fly across the screen and I'm not sure if this is a witch or if it's death People have told me it's death, um, and I think the reason they come to that conclusion is like the common appearance of death. The witch thing <laughs> definitely does have a skull for a face, and you can actually see it two more times in the music video, both when he, uh, Yeonjun is entering the forest of death, <laughs> and again when he's running away from the cat. Um, it's hard to tell if the witch death Thing appears because uh, the star is asleep because we don't see it before that point but really we had no reason to but it does appear immediately after the star falls asleep flying across the screen 
and then when the star is revived or woken up, we don't see it again, but there's not really an opportunity to see it again. So I feel like we should definitely keep our eyes open in future music videos to see if we can spot the witch. Speaking of Yeonjun running away from the death witch, I mean from the cat, we're going to talk about the cat. The cat is like another really big question mark in this music video. There's a lot of theories surrounding the cat and so I'm just going to kind of go over some of the details of just a couple of them because there are far too many for me to cover all of them. The cat is like I said, there's not a lot of hard details about it yet. First of all, one of the first things I noticed that I don't really see a lot of people talking about is the fact that when you first see the cat, you see like starry galaxy in the eyes of the cat. I don't know what that means. I feel like it might be important. Second is the fact that they, the cat has heterochromia. It has two different colored eyes, one blue, one green. And this is really interesting to me because the cat looks like it's a black cat. But in order for cats, in real life at least, to have heterochromia, it needs to have the white fur gene. And so you pretty much cannot find a cat with heterochromia that is not a white cat or at least partially white because, like I said, it needs to have that gene. And so either this cat is completely covered in shadows and is actually white, or they're just taking creative liberties. <laughs> However, if it is actually white, I'm waiting for everyone to connect this to the Save Me comic. And I'm gonna get a lot of comments about it. Yep. Um, however, heterochromia kind of exists in Taehyun in a way as well, um, because his eyes are obviously completely different. Um, although it's hard to say if he was really born with that, so I'm not sure if it counts as heterochromia or not. However, there is an interesting myth about heterochromia. It's like a superstition that they had one of their eyes taken and replaced with a witch eye. A witch eye. We see a witch in the music video. So there's a possibility that the witch and the cat and possibly Taehyun are all connected. I'm not sure on that front, but it's an interesting theory nonetheless. Also, uh, someone actually correlated the fact that in DNA, in the music video for DNA, we start with a galaxy and then it kind of like zooms out and it turns out the galaxy was in Jungkook's eye. That it was blue, blue eyes in that music video. He was wearing blue contact. It could be a reference to the fact that that's like the BTS universe, and then this is the TXT one, um, or it could be like that they're related, which is very interesting to me. There's actually a lot, a lot of galaxy imagery, both in BTS music videos and TXT videos. They're literally everywhere. It makes it look very important. I think there is a possibility that there are two different universes, and like I said, Jungkook's is the blue one, and maybe TXT is the green one or something like that. We're gonna have to wait and see. Another big theory about the cat is that it's actually a bakeneko. So bakeneko in Japanese comes from bakemono, which is uh, like a monster or a demon or a yokai basically, and neko, which is a cat. Bakemono neko, bakeneko. Another one is people think it's a neko mata, which is a very similar thing. It's a cat spirit with split tails, basically, twin tails, not sure. Online, the information that describes these two cats is vague at best and doesn't differentiate them very well. However, I have a boyfriend and he is Japanese and I asked him what he thought about this and he said that Nekomata are cat spirits that have reached enlightenment and therefore, when he watched the video at least, he was like, it's probably not it because the cat looks really menacing <laughs> and it's meant to be like scary. Like Yeonjun's not like, oh, my savior is a nice pretty cat. It's like, oh, this is a really big scary cat. And Bake Nekos do tend to be considered as evil spirits. So if it is the cat that's in this Japanese lore, it's probably a Bake Neko, not a Nekomata. However, whether it's malicious or not, both of these cats do have supernatural abilities, so that could explain the lightning, and it could explain the cut that Yeonjun gets on his throat. And it could explain also giving or receiving like powers of some kind. Not sure, once again, on that front yet, but we're gonna have to see. I'm really excited to see like what's gonna happen in that front. Also, if it is a Nekomata, which is a friendly spirit, like I said, if he does get a power from it and it was actually like a good thing, it just looks malicious. That also could be referenced in the Crown music video because they kind of have like a bunch of animals with different amounts of tails. The thing is that I'm not sure if that actually just has to do with the Crown music video since Crown isn't technically part of the TU, it just references the TU. It could just be a reference to Crown since they're talking about just things that are different about everything. So 
having a lot of tails would definitely be something very different. It also could have been like a hint towards cat, the cat and dog music video. That was actually the next music video that was released if you're not counting the like lyric video as a music video because we did have the lyric video for Blue Orange Jade first but the next like proper music video was cat and dog so that could have just been like a fun little reference like look at all these animal tails and like paw prints and stuff like that. <laughs> I was talking about cat and dog. Anyways moving on to one of the last points I think I want to talk about in Nap of a Star is the star but not the star actually. I'm talking about the stars in the sky. There are a lot of them if you look and actually there are a couple different constellations if you're looking for them that you can find in the sky here including the Ursa Minor constellation but I'm actually gonna talk about that later. The one I wanted to talk about now is the Cassiopeia constellation because it's not only visible in Nap of a Star but it's also visible in the, the crown music video. Cassiopeia is often depicted as a crown. Um, you can even kind of see it in the, the shape. It kind of looks like the points of a crown. To make it more interesting in some Arabian myths this crown is actually depicted as horns. That fits really well. It just kind of adds to the whole story aspect of it. Speaking of interesting facts, the stars in this part of the crown music video actually go from happy and calm to kind of dead looking with clouds around it suddenly coming out with lightning. It's really interesting since when the star naps in Nap of a Star, there's also a lightning storm going on. And this could have been just like early little Easter eggs. In fact, Crown is kind of littered with this kind of stuff. Like I said, they had paw prints like leading it in Cat and Dog, so I think that the entire Crown music video is just like a bunch of Easter eggs related to other content that's gonna come out still or that ha was gonna come out. We are gonna jump a moment and just talk really quickly about um, the TXT and the answers website. When you land on this website, it basically tells you the beginning of the story of Nap of a Star. It reads, We would look up at the dark night sky when we were little and imagine what the far future might be like and talk to fantastic beings who lived across the universe. We would point at the stars and trace our constellations. Constellations, again guys. And when you click further in, the constellations are once again in the order that the members uh, were released in, so their age order. You have to connect each of the stars, and then once you do, it gives you another paragraph here. A long, long time ago, people used to look up at the night sky like we do too, and tell tales of legends or foretell the future, letting their imaginations take flight. We don't really do that much anymore these days, but gazing up at the night sky still makes our hearts beat faster, maybe with a longing for something, maybe with hope for the dawn and a new day. Feels it's like the feeling we have when the five of us are dreaming one dream, promising to discover our tomorrow together. It's like our hearts are overflowing with emotion. And then it asks you to type in their name, and if you do, it takes them takes you to a video message of them, which I don't actually think is, this part is not very important to the TU. I just think it's a really good way of introducing their group. It's very interactive and fun. I'm very bright, so I'm gonna just... The most important thing about this is the constellation. There seems to somehow be something very important with constellations in the TXT universe. Like for example, you can literally see these constellations in the Crown music video. And speaking of constellations, although it's not their birth constellations, uh, if you connect the stars in Nap of the Star this way, then you can see Ursa Minor, which is the Big Dipper. Uh, some people believe that this could actually be related to the magic shop, and there's like a whole theory about it. So I'm gonna just link it in the description below. Basically, it's just connected to the North Star, which is connected to the magic shop door. Kind of like it becomes the lanterns of the door. If this is true, suggest that parallel universe to the BTS universe, and there is a possibility in the future that they could end up at the door for the magic shop. That's just speculation though, and if it does happen, I don't think it'll happen for a long time. And I want to mention this because people have constantly told me about Bang PD and about Namjoon talking about universes and intricate stories and how they really kind of want to create a Marvel uh, Avengers-like universe. Even if they do want to do that, keep in mind that that's not necessarily going to happen right away. BTS had all of these years to kind of create their brand and create their story. And TXT is actually probably going to be doing the same. All of the Avengers have their own story before the Avengers initiative where they all come together even happens, right? Thor, for example, has all of his own stories before Thor comes in with the Avengers. Same with like Spider-Man and all of that. Everyone knows these characters already. 
so it's not gonna go straight into the Avengers, you know? There's gotta be the lead up first where you know what the characters are. So you're gonna know BTS's story, and then you're gonna know TXT's story, and they're not gonna meet until these stories are told. TXT has to have the chance to grow away from BTS before they can even think about putting them together because they're already being compared constantly to it. I just wanted to mention that because people are constantly tagging me um, and sending me messages and commenting about this fact, and I don't disagree with you, but I just don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. Likewise, I'm not actually sure, I saw this theory, but I'm not sure that Yeonjun is the boy in the hospital in the BTS Save Me comic. I don't think there's a, like, a lot of really solid evidence for it. It doesn't mean that's not him, I just don't really see it right now, so we'll have to see. Finally, I just wanted to end this segment off, yes, this segment with some more evidence that the Dream Chapter star is from Yeonjun's point of view with some lyrics and I'm talking about the whole album by the way. In Cat and Dog there are lyrics about him getting a halo and being given wings. Uh, it says even though I wasn't cute before. I think the crown music video imagery comes into play here when he's shown to have a halo and wings in a shadow who's beside Zubin who seems to have devil wings. We'll get to that later though. In Our Summer there's a line. In it, the eternal promise brightly shrine. Since Yeonjun's Morse code is promise, this further solidifies that it's about him. In the Nap of the Star music video, a large black cat walks towards Yeonjun. And in the UK, the superstition goes, if a black cat walks towards you, it signifies good luck versus walking away from you, which should be the luck leaving you. However, Yeonjun just immediately runs away from the cat and ends up meeting Kai, which could be his good luck. This might even be briefly referenced further in the cat and dog lyrics. It's no coincidence, it's a kitty incidence. Get it? Because the cat led him to Kai. It's a kitty incidence. No? I, and again, I mentioned um, a lot of these before, but in several songs, it talks about how your slash Kai's appearance seems like magic and like how the wings uh, saved him. And this kind of triggers his future obsession with him, which is talked about in Cat and Dog. I think the songs, timeline-wise, might have an order, actually, in the way that it actually happened. I think Nap of the Star comes first, because he was thinking about his old friends before he woke up with horns on his head. Crown would be next, because he woke up with horns on his head. <laughs> and then I think possibly Our Summer could be next. Like I said, it, it does seem to fit in like that one moment. Um, with Kai, where he's like, oh, it feels like summer, even though it was like middle of the night and <laughs> it was lightning storming and stuff. And then that would kind of lead into Cat and Dog, which would be next because then he has like that obsessive phase where he's like, oh my god, Kai is the best. Kai is my angel. I want to be with Kai forever because Kai saved him. Um, and then the entire thing would probably finish off with Blue Orange Aid, where he comes together with all of his friends and they're all different and he realizes that their differences are what make them unique and make them stronger and they're a better group because of how unique they are. I do think that there's like a significant portion missing between Cat and Dog and Blue Orange Jade, but there's also more albums to be coming out seeing as this is their debut album, so... Now I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about the cat and dog concept photos. These have the possibility of being a part of the TU a large reason I think this is because of the massive amount of flowers that are in these pictures. They are honestly, all of the flowers that are in the questioning videos are basically in this photo. Like all of them. This actually is what initially led me to believe that the cat and dog music video would be part of the TU and I was really surprised when it wasn't. Um, I had a theory that the music video would have to do with recovering um, after the loss of someone. Dealing with grief, basically. I'm not entirely sure I was wrong, to be honest, but it definitely was not 100% correct. The theory had a lot to do with some of the lines um, that were in the cat and dog song, um, specifically the one about the rainbow bridge, which is like this bridge where um, when a human dies they can cross the rainbow bridge to reunite with their previously deceased pets and they can play together in the meadow forever. <laughs> it's really nice actually and it's kind of just like heartwarming to think of. Yeah so I was thinking like oh this could be what's happening and then also supporting that theory uh, was a book that was on the ground. Once again <laughs> reading book titles man. <laughs> Gotta pay attention to these things. Uh, so the book that's on the ground was called Store-Bought Baby. It's by Sandra Belton 
And this is a book about a girl who just like lost her adopted brother, basically. He just passed away. And it's all about her overcoming her grief and her jealousy and the fact that her mom seemed to favor her adopted brother over her, who was like her biological child. And then she kind of ends up searching for her brother's birth parents and stuff like that. Just the theme of that book was basically getting over grief and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. <laughs> Anyways, that wasn't the theme of the music video, to my knowledge. Anyways, the music video kind of ended up being like TXT as the pets anxiously waiting for their owners to return home and then there's actually, TXT even confirmed that there was like a dream sequence in the thing, which was kind of weird. But yeah, it does seem to be its own kind of standalone thing. In fact, out of all the music videos and stuff, Cat and Dog has the fewest references to the TU. It does seem to almost be its own little story, which is very interesting. However, we're not talking about the music video, we're talking about the concept photo. And I do think that they have something to do with the TU, once again, because of the flowers. So let's just take a look at them really quickly. Firstly, all of the pets that they use are French breeds. Every single one of them. Except for the, the bunny rabbit that Subin holds. Yeah, no one expected that. Um, <laughs> it was really cheeky of Big Hit, I guess, in a way. Because Subin's concept photo came out on Easter Sunday. At least in the Americas, possibly in Europe. I think it was Monday in Korea. But it was Easter Sunday everywhere else. And I thought that was fairly intentional and kind of funny. So... Good play. Good play, Big Hit. I see you. But yeah, up to that point it had been going dog, cat, dog, cat, so next one, you know, in the pattern would be dog, but spoiler alert, Subin was not a dog, he, he was a bunny. Hey, so um, I was editing the video and I realized there was something that I forgot that um, I wanted to mention, and um, I just wanted to say that uh, the bunny rabbit also might be a reference to The Matrix or Alice in Wonderland, um, since it is a white rabbit and both of the, like, in both of those stories, the white rabbit is prominent in one way or another. And it's not really a stretch that they might be using the Matrix because they've actually referenced the Matrix before. Oh yeah, I just wanted to add that in. Anyways, back to past me. <laughs> but also, this isn't the first time that we've seen Subin kind of defy expectations. I've mentioned this before, but there's a part in Crown where he and Yeonjun end up back to back and Yeonjun in his shadow has angel wings, basically. And Subin, what looks to be the opposite, it looks like he has devil wings. That's kind of concerning. <laughs> Once again, because Crown constantly seems to reference things, it references the TU a lot. I feel like this could be referencing like discourse between Subin and Yeonjun. And keep in mind, if we're going by the order, we have Yeonjun first and Subin second. So it's possible that in the next album or music video that's related to the TU, it's gonna start covering Subin's side of the story, which could be kind of contradictory to Yeonjun's. I feel like they might have a similar goal, but they, they don't have like, it doesn't work right away, you know what I mean? Anyways, I would be surprised if that moment is not somehow related to the TU. It's gonna be really interesting to see where it goes, since I assume, like I said, Subin's gonna be the next member. Dream Chapter Flower? Speaking of Dream Chapter Flower, I have some speculation that has to do with the album length as well. So I think there's two theories. The three album theory or the five album theory. And there's like various reasons and evidence as to why either of these would work. So let's start with the five album theory. Five albums in the Dream Chapter would make sense because there are five members. Each person has a shape named after them, like Yeonjun is a star, Subin is a flower, Hai is a heart, and therefore each member of TXT would receive an album, dream chapter, star, flower, heart, circle, etc, etc. This makes a lot of logical sense and it actually has some evidence. It might even be, like I said, the order they were originally released in, because Yeonjun was released first, so Subin might be released second, Bongyu, Taehyun, and Kai last. And in a story point of view, having Kai last kind of makes sense as well. Can't reveal Kai's secret too early on, you know what I mean? <laughs> if this is a story, you gotta reveal the secret at the end. So Kai's arc being last would make a lot of logical sense in terms of story building. However, instead of five albums, there's a lot of evidence that suggests three albums and that this is a trilogy of sorts. This links with things um, that are happening with BTS right now, because right now there's the Persona album and in Persona, 
the like music video intro thing, the one with uh, Namjoon <laughs> on the blackboard behind him. You can see that it says Persona Shadow Ego and above that Dream Love Happiness. Now I don't know if I have to remind you the title of this album but it's called The Dream Chapter Star. So people are thinking, oh, like how Persona is, is the first one and then we're probably going to have Shadow and Ego. Dream is the first one and then we're going to have love and happiness. And this is once again possibly highlighting the fact that BTS and TXT are connected in one way or another, uh, if that's the direction that this ends up taking. Furthermore, there are actually three versions of the current TXT logo. My only concern with the three album theory is the subtitle of it, which is Star. It points so clearly to Yeonjun that I honestly don't know what they would do with it if it's not going to be about each of the members. <laughs> like, I don't know where it's going. If it's dream, love, happiness, I don't know where the story's going anymore. But if it's star, flower, circle, etc, 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 then I feel like I can like, predict where it's going. But if it's the three album theory, I'm like, well, wait, now I have no idea. <laughs> like, I'm suddenly like, I don't know where I am. But um, let me know what you think. I could see either of them happening, so I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, that's just about it. If you're still here, well, thank you for watching. Uh, leave your theories in the comments and your thoughts because I really like to read them. I think there's like definitely stuff that I've missed. Like I said, some stuff I've definitely skipped over um, on purpose, but other stuff I'm just like, I probably just forgot it. To be honest, there's a lot of information and there's a lot of things that we have to consider still and there's not a lot of content to work with. <laughs> so yes, I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, so please leave a comment below and also give this video a like and if you want to see more of these kind of theory videos, please make sure to subscribe because I will continue to make them. So yes, thank you very much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!